This is this has got to be the coolest cockpit I think I've ever gotten into. You're acting like it's completely normal. It is. But I'm it like, is normal. I'm mind blown about how mental this trip is. Morning! We are down in Monaco. We didn't film the drive down this time, but we are gonna have a super exciting day today. First of all, we're starting off by exploring a very special looking car in a hotel right close to here. We're currently at Casino Square and we're gonna go to the Metropole Hotel to meet up with some guys who just contacted us to film a car that I've never seen before and we're gonna explore together. Shall we head over to the hotel? Let's head over. is insane. You're my hero. Everything feels so carbon fibery and solid. So first impressions. This is this has got to be the coolest cockpit I think I've ever gotten into. Unreal. Cars, planes, everything included. This is so so cool. I feel like a racing driver. How is this street legal? I have no idea, but it's genius. Ever. You got left foot braking, you got your paddles here, and I was just saying everything feels so solid. And you're basically lying down. You got your shifter lights, you got all of your buttons even up here. Engine start. Uh, oh. <laughs> one. See, the only thing is, I can imagine this isn't the most practical car in the world. Would you daily it? If I had one, I would drive it a lot. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, so cool. So, so cool. Oh, that's a mission. I am in love. I don't know what to say. Should we give you some fun facts about the car? Let's do some fun facts. Fun facts about this car. How much power does it have, Josh? Give us a random guess. Oh, it looks mean. I don't know, tell me. 390 horsepower, which is a lot. But then, when you consider that it's 670 kilos, you then arrive with, correct me if I'm wrong, 575 kilos per ton. Oh, no. 575 horsepower per ton, which is insane. I think that's like more than a Veyron. I, I think so. I think they runs about 500. So this thing is mad. It's got a an Alpine Renault engine. So based off the Formula Renault cars. And it's lit I have no idea how this is street legal, but it is, and it's great, and I genius. love it. It's genius. The color. I don't, you maybe you can see it more here. But see how it like glistens. It's got all these flakes in it. it is absolutely beautiful. And then little details like the wing mirrors and carbon like this are just so so nice. You got your air vent up top. You got your dining table wing around <laughs> It's the perfect McDonald's car. McDonald's it is. Roulette. Let's call Paul. You yep. should do a McDonald's roulette in this. <laughs> no, it is honestly so cool. I mean, it's a quick little stop to come check out this car. Um, we're not gonna go out in it or anything, but we, it's so cool, we thought we'd come and check it out. So it's the Praga R1R. You guys can look it up. They're just launching everything. They're gonna make 68 of these because it's 68 years since they made the last Praga car. We're heading off. We've got Yuna and Marcus out here. They seem to just be popping up randomly. <laughs> yep. But they are embarking on one of... The, you're acting like it's completely normal. It is, but I'm it like, is normal. I'm mind blown about how mental this trip is. They're driving to Bas Barcelona, right? Today yeah. and then Marbella tomorrow, yeah. This is mad. So good I was saying we boys. should just go straight to uh, Marbella. <laughs> just overnight. How long is the yeah, drive? I'm in. To Marbella, how long is 1500, it? 1500, 1600. Anyways, they're mental. <laughs> that is great though, the countdown. Yeah. I've never, we don't have that in England. Really? It's for launch control. This car doesn't have it. But ah. if it, they've done it, the government did it like, what if someone has launch control? Yeah. They don't get the opportunity to use it on the public roads. Yeah. So let's give them a countdown at the lights yeah. so that they can launch. Fantastic. Yep, yeah, really nice of them. Video uploaded, got the computer here and now let's go to dealerships. As you can tell, it's getting dark already. Thank God there's a lot of road lighting in Monaco so you can still see us, but we're gonna go to some dealerships, maybe try and blag some supercar test drives, but it's probably too late now to do it. So we might have to do a take two of this video another day, but we're just gonna go see them now. They close in about an hour and a half, two hours, and just see how many cars, uh, cool cars we can see in cool dealerships. 
first dealership. There's an SLR outside, which is pretty cool. It's usually a good sign. Then uh, they still open. I think the most amazing thing of this place, though, is how close they park their cars to the wall. So, for example, how calculated it is that. It gets worse, though. Look at that. It must have gone wrong at some point in the many times because they change cars here like all the time. They must have screwed that up. 100%. Oh well. This maybe end up being a bit of a dealership fail this video because <laughs> we're barely, we're running out of time. We're gonna meet with one of the guys here and talk a bit, but it may end up being us basically just going to this dealer and keeping the test drive blag video for another day. So you think they were revving exhausts and yes. See the couch? That happened. Yeah, the couch has been made all dirty. <laughs> You're in every, there's too many, every angle. Yeah, there's too many windows, or oh, what are they called, mirrors? It's so cold, I left my big coat in the car, but anyways, this vlog is going to be one that's kind of all over the place, we're not entirely sure, but we just had a good meeting with the dealership, sounds like we might do some stuff with them in the future, yes. um, so that's exciting, and now we've got about 35 minutes till all the dealers close, so we're going to drive up to a place where there's Porsche, Audi, Ferrari and Lamborghini all right next to each other, so we're gonna see if we can just try and bash all of those off and see what cars they have in stock. Perfect. Shall we do that? All right, let's get in the car and hurry up. Welcome, my dear friend. Sam Smith is here. Can you hear him? <laughs> 918, 15 grand down payment with like 700 grand. No, 700 grand down payment with 15 grand monthly payments. It looks so cool, non visac pack. It's got the cool penis wheels. <laughs> it's like a bunch of penises on the wheel. Anyways, what do we have? We got. Cayenne diesel, we got a McCann, which actually has quite a nice interior. Doesn't have the sports seats though. Sports seats are the ones we have in, in uh, our McCann. Much nicer. Facelifted version of the Panamera, not the brand new Panamera, but facelifted. Do you like the Panamera? I do, actually. Yeah? Yeah, I quite like I it a lot. I them kind of funky. I don't, I'm like undecided on whether I like them a lot or, or not. But anyways, this is nice inside. That is very nice. Very cool. It's a bit of me that is. Yeah, you know, it's a little bit of Josh taste. It's a bit of me. Yes, we decided that Josh is actually a black American rapper. Because <laughs> he likes Jordans, Cadillacs and chrome rims. <laughs> what do you think? I spent my night last night um, researching the prices on these. They're still so expensive, the Carrera GTSs. But the spec on this, look, come around this side. The spec on this one, all black. With those rims, the center locking rims are so cool. With the red and then inside, it's got black leather. Black Alcantara and red stitching. It is so, so nice. The Carrera GTS is probably my favorite non-GT3 or turbo version of the, uh, of the 911 line. Let's run to Lambo now and try and see some other cars. I think they close in 15 minutes. Oh, God. So let's go as fast as possible because I think their stock is cool. This has just become an even bigger fail. The Ferrari dealer's already closed. So hopefully a Lamborghini dealer will be open. Look at this. Very nice. I think they've oh, noticed wow. there's no engine cover on it. Maybe we should tell them. We should come back tomorrow and tell them, listen, there's a piece missing. What I find to be the ugliest 599 they made is called the Alonso edition. I don't think it's very good looking. Cool car. Very cool car. Not very nice spec. Anyway, I can see the Lambo dealer. Let's go get some. Shit. <laughs> it's closed. Come it on. Such cool. I know. It says on the door that they close at 7 and it's 20 to 7. That's Italian for you. It <laughs> die. I had a dinner to go to. Shall we show them from the window? Yes, because okay, they look absolutely around, gorgeous. A Hurricane right there. Very nice. All black. Then we have a GT3 RS in that uh, orange, which looks very, very cool. Perfect resale spec, by the way, if you're wondering. SV Roadster, absolutely stunning with the black rims and the red brake calipers. That looks very nice. I love me an SV Roadster. Diablo behind. Hold up, there. hold up. You can't just shoot a Diablo from here. We have to swap sides. Okay, let's swap sides. Look, it's made for you, Josh. It's got chrome rims. Yes. Throw me up. They're a bit small for you though. You should have spinners and 20. Yeah, I want inch. spinners, 25, 26 inch. Diablo. I don't. I actually don't know much about the Diablo. I'm more of like a modern Lambo kind of guy. But it looks very nice. The color's lovely, and uh, overall very cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go see the uh, Aventador yes. because I actually know a fair amount about this particular Aventador because Donze actually bought it. 
and then change his order to get the new one. Fun what? fact. Yeah. <laughs> so he's getting the new one, but originally he was going to get this one. So come with me. Here it is. <laughs> no, oh. I joke. I joke. <laughs> there it is. White with black rooms and red brake calipers. This car is actually brand new, which is quite rare to see with the Aventador because they're coming to the end of their production life. But brand new car. Um, really nice spec inside, but now since they've said that they're going to be releasing a new one I think they're releasing it in Geneva. No one's really picking these up So you would be a fool actually to buy this car because it's literally just gonna shit value from the day you buy it But it's still very nice. The Delaney top tip. Delaney dop dop <laughs> Delaney <laughs> dop tip. That's what it's gonna be from now on. Josh, what have you been dying to get? Coke. Coca-Cola. Because that could be very bad, you misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> you waiting I'm to get Coca Cola, Coca -Cola. for like two days. So we found a supermarket right next to Lambo, and he is a happy man right now. Oh, all right. Anything else? Yes, I want some more stuff. What? I don't know. Oh, it's too much. Right there. there. There is literally just an aisle oh, of gluten. I've had Oreos. You know what? I'm not, hold this, I'm not convinced they have gluten. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> First thing written on their gluten. <laughs> Yep, no, for blunt, just trying to get some deodorant. I'm going to do an artsy montage of you eating chocolate. Ready? I've been really trying, baby. <laughs> what are you doing? This is your type of music, Josh. I love bad bitches with my fucking problems. You're going to need to better. do a lot of bleeping on that. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not even going to bleep. Fucking balls, bitch. <laughs> Yes! Now you know it. Carpool karaoke. Another James Corden video. I don't know any other lyrics. Wait, I need to put my hood up. I feel more gangsta. I don't know what Josh has done. What a tune! Oh, you know, I need none of the words to that. <laughs> hey, Quick cap saying it, sound name the mouth. No Juliet for no Romeo and no dub.